Hey, my Taurus babies, what's happening? This is EJ from Toronto Tarot in the middle of the damn night. Ha <laughs> ha. You ready to do Taurus weekly update? We are rolling tomorrow, Monday, November 9th, through the following Tuesday, the 17th. Yeah, right. By the time we get to next week, we'll be at the middle of the month. So who knew? Uh, hopefully, everybody has had a good weekend. And hopefully we will have a good start to the work week. I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Um, this week, Taurus is just just that high priestess. Her right there. Uh, by getting some clarity and about yeah, I'll just look here. Um about listening to your intuition, the high priestess, and facing the reality of certain situations. Now, I don't know. This is going to be one of them readings. I don't think anybody's going to get 100% out of it, but everybody might get a little bit. So take what's yours, and as Grandmama used to say, eat the fish, eat the bones. Don't choke on nobody else's stuff. Yeah. So your centerpiece here for the next seven, eight, nine days um, about having foresight. It's about having foresight and really thinking about where you are and where you want to be. Uh, and that can go all kind of different kind of ways. Um, clarity on love. How about that? <laughs> Two of Pentacles on top of the Knight of Swords. I'm sorry. Seven of Swords on top of the Ace of Pentacles. The death card on top of the double. How the hell that work out? Okay, we're gonna roll with it. Three of Wands is pulling the Three of Swords. Hmm. Ace of Swords is pulling the Ace of Wands. No mistakes here. Justice card is pulling the Five of Coin. Three of Cups is pulling the Temperance. And the Ace of Cups is pulling the back end of the King of Cups. Okay, so let's just get the obvious out of the fucking way. Some of you all are dealing with a third party situation. You may not know it yet. You may not know it yet, but there is definite infidelity. This ain't even got no other kind of meaning. Usually there are other things that will kind of bounce off the cards regardless of what I got written on it. Again, no, mm -mm, not today. Lack of affection and putting some distance in between you and whoever the fuck this is and having some foresight about what you're doing. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. And this, these threes, that's your challenge. Having some foresight and keep getting, getting some mental distance away from the situation or situations with an S that you might be in. The High Priestess, the Eight of Pentacles on the front end of your overall energy, trusting your guidance having some patience, and learning the things that you need to learn along the way. Um, so, as the front end of your overall energy, some of you might be considering going back to school. Um, others of you might be thinking about getting back in the workforce if you've been out for a minute. However, that's working out. That's what that Eight of Pentacles is telling me. And with the High Priestess on the bottom, it's talking about trusting yourself. And listening to your guide. So if you've got 
um, on any situation, not just work. If you've got um, something in your gut, or as I say, that, that second person behind you looking over your shoulder and feel like something is going on, trust what your GPS is telling you. It's not lying. It is not lying at all. Now, you may have to do a little weed whacking to get down to the weeds, but if there's something there, I don't know who I'm talking to, uh, pay attention to it. On the back end of your overall, the Eight of Cups, and see, some of y'all are being emotional because there are things going on that are just, they're setting you back. Uh, coronavirus can be very well be the things just setting you back because you can't start a business or you can't do whatever with your friend, whatever. Um, that the eight of, eight of Cups, I'm sorry, is sitting on the strength card you may have to just face the reality of whatever. So y'all up in your cups and shit. And move on. Move forward. And that eight of cups talks about drastic decisions. Some of y'all may be in that place where you feel like you may have to just cut some shit right off. You see the light in the dark side of the sun. I'm just saying. Take your time, though. Take your time. Don't, matter of fact, take your time. Stubborn. Do, do the stubborn thing for a minute if you need to. Um, don't make any kind of decision. Sit back and watch. Looking at Monday's energy with the Ace of Cups on top of the Ten of Wands. You, you're going to get some clarity. Some of you have been walking around like, I don't know if this is just... I can't, I don't know if this is right for me, if this is the right person for me. Listen to that shit. You come right back up here. Listen, 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 listen to your guidance. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. That right there. And you may be, you may be a bit overwhelmed by the fact that Something's not going the way you want it to go. However, that's resonating. But you're going to get some clarity. And if it's not tomorrow, sometime this week, you're going to get some clarity about what the hell is going on in your love life. That part right there. Keep your eyes open. There may be, and I'm just going to project to say this third party situation. There may be a situation around you. Your partner may not necessarily be cheating on you but the person they dealing with might be conspiring against you um i think it was the taurus and pisces reading i just did about that third party out there just you know hanging around trying to influence cause disruption um hold that thought looking at tuesday's energy but two of pentacles on top of the knight of swords Again, talking about opposition and strife, especially at work, um, you're going to have to just persevere this week when it comes to work. Get your head down. Get the troops ready. We're going to have some opposition going on here. Somebody's going to try and do something, say something, act on something, be something, name, whatever. Uh, but stay in your lane, Taurus. Don't get out of your lane. Um, Persevere, trudge through whatever you need to trudge through, but stay in your lane. Don't get all off into somebody else's beeswax and try to insert your two cents because it's going to cause more problems than, than the comment is actually worth. With the seven of swords on top of the ace of pentacles, we're talking about losses, um, in this vice versa deck, it's talking about intellectual theft. Somebody may be trying to take um, credit for something you're doing at work, at church, at temple, wherever. Ultimately, yeah, it, it's a blocked opportunity because somebody else 
got their hams all in it. And I said, hams, H-A-M, not hams, all in this. And it, you see this person, I don't know if y'all can see that person back there, just kind of hanging off in the wings. Somebody's watching, Taurus, let me put it like that. And they envy you so much that they may try to take credit for something that you're doing. What my guidance would be for the week, if you were turning anything in at work or school, however that's planned, um, make sure you make a ruckus about what you've done. I know sometimes it's hard to, to, to brag and boast on your shit, but do it. Um, the abundance you're looking for in this particular situation, it's there. But again, you got people around you, that's going to be the title, jealous of you and mad. You got people around you on all kinds of fronts, at work, at home, all over the place. You got people that's just fucking jealous and mad that you have what you have, that you do what you do. And they are trying to undermine you at every turn. Looking at Thursday's energy, I don't know about Thursday, the death card and the devil. But at the end of the day, it's about letting go of dependent ties, letting go of things that don't serve you, and questioning your decisions. I don't think any of you at this point are having a problem facing any interferes. You've probably been dealing with that all year. So this is seriously about questioning the decisions that you're making and cutting loose dependent ties. That could be kids, that could be lovers, but it's the people that are just kind of hanging off your tip. And you just don't know why they're still there. They're just there. They, they're codependent. They don't know what to do. Do what you need to do to let it go. Because that may be blocking other things from coming to you. Um, some of you may realize that the devil card situation that you're in could be work, could be love. is a dead end. It ain't going nowhere. So decisions. Decision making is all over the damn place. Even back up here, drastic, taking drastic decisions. Um, this is going to be one of them weeks where you're going to have to just bully up and do what you need to do. For Friday, your centerpiece, the Three of Swords on top of the Three of Wands, you may be dealing with someone who has suddenly started keeping some distance from you. Um, again, this is your challenge, to have, have some foresight and kind of pan out and see what's going on uh, before you make any drastic decision. Um, You may be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, you need to make decisions this week, Taurus. You need to make decisions, but for now, keeping yourself at a distance and just kind of projecting now, trying to have some foresight about what's coming down the road. When we get to Saturday's energy, the Ace of Swords with the Ace of Wands on top. That's a double ace. So you, I think a lot of you are starting a new cycle, a new chapter. Um, slow down. And the Ace of Swords here is also about making important decisions. No, just know there's some divine intervention going on here. So something may come to light this week um, that will help you in your decision-making process. Uh, don't give up your power. Don't give up your power. Don't give anybody the power to do anything over you. That's the first part of that. There is going to be a situation, and nine times out of ten, it's going to be a love thing. 
don't give up your power. And by not giving up your power, I mean, don't be sitting around waiting on the damn phone to ring or waiting on getting some damn text message or some other bullshit. And just put your shit on hold because you're trying to, mm -mm, don't do it. Don't give, them, don't give anybody that kind of power in your life. Continue doing what you're doing. Continue to be who you are. And just know you are in the process of making decisions. Keep your emotional balance. When we get to next Sunday, the Five of Pentacles on top of the Justice, a lot of you is just going to be about uh, karma. Karma coming back. And showing you something. Don't be resistant. That's that's what's here with the five of coins. Don't be resistant to what's going on. And don't get hopeless. That's the back side of the card. There's no reason for you to be hopeless because shit's just all the fuck of what happened. Don't worry. And just stay stay the course, Taurus. Regardless. Just stay the course. Try to maintain your balance, but just know karma has got something to do with whatever's going on. I don't feel like this is anything coming to smack you in the horn, but it may be a lover, a co-worker, someone you're close to, and you may have to deal with the fallout. Try not to worry, whatever, whatever it is. Try not to worry. The Five of Pentacles and the other decks is usually the chick with the thing on her back walking the hell away. You may need to walk away from something. Um, even if just temporary, you put some space. Distance. That three of swords. Put some space between you and whatever it is and letting karma, karmic justice, do what it's going to do. Next Monday, three of cups in the temperance. At this point, and at some point, you're going to recognize you need to heal. There's some infidelity. It's just infidelity back to back right here. Um, some of you are dealing with situations where your person is cheating on you. And let me throw the kicker in. Some of you may find out, and I, I hate doing readings like this. It just sucks all the fuck. The person you're dealing with might be married. They ain't tell you. Or they got a baby coming. They ain't tell you. That shit right there. That this is the king of, so or king of cups. It's about keeping your emotional balance. And not letting shit get messy and sloppy. This is the king. Hello. So, maintaining some kind of emotional order. Some of you may want to just lay out on the floor and kick your hooves up and tell everybody to kiss your bully balls and keep moving. But, no. Do not get stuck in this energy, Taurus. That's what I'm going to tell you. That this Ace of Cups up here, and now I'm not just talking about love, I'm talking about everything. For the door that's going to close, for those of you that this is resonating with, as soon as that door closes and click up, the other door is going to already be open. So do not get stuck anywhere. Don't do it. Know that there are people out here trying to undermine what you're doing, trying to cause confusion and some more bullshit. Keep your shit moving, Taurus. That's what I'm going to tell you. Keep your shit moving. Um, go bully on them as you need to. Folks who need to be cussed out, cuss them out. Don't hold on to that shit. Try to stay grounded and try to keep some emotional balance. That will help you get through whatever it is that you need to get through. Uh, don't settle for second best. That, that energy is just all in my ear right now. Do not settle for second best. Also, don't second guess yourself, Taurus. That strength card up there with the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're going to have to make some drastic decisions. You're going to have to face the reality of a situation. But don't second guess yourself. Make your decision and, and keep it moving. And all those that can't take a joke, fuck them. That's what I say. Get your butt outside. I don't care how cold it is. Go put a coat on and go stand in the sun for two seconds. Try that. I don't care what end of the globe you on. Get some sun. 
that will help clear the cobwebs. It will also help to ground you. Just saying, some of you may need to get grounded. It, like I said, it's that kind of week. If you need a drink after work, a cocktail, if y'all split, if you need to split, whatever you're doing, ask Scotty to beam you up. Don't try and deal with all of everything. Sometimes you need to just take a moment to yourself and relax and let your body relax, especially if you're nervous and all tensed up and overwhelmed on some, on some bullshit. Make that phone call. Somebody, I don't know who I'm talking to, somebody needs to make a phone call to call somebody. Make that phone call. Quit bullshitting and quit playing around and make the damn phone call. Uh, if this is someone that you're interested in, I'm going to say make that call later in the week. If this is somebody that's been trying to reach out to you, call them back as soon as you can. Uh, there may be some information on the other end that you need to know. Let's throw that part out here. Shit is going down with your job. You are about to lose your job. Okay, I'm sorry. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. Whoever that's applying to. Um, you may, Taurus, I don't think this is necessarily about you. you. You may just need to change your perspective. And I think whatever goes down this week, that's, what's, that's exactly what the situation is going to do for you. It's going to change your fucking perspective. And you're going to be like, oh, well, if I had known this, that part right there. Come on, cards. Get the fuck out of your head. Get in your heart. It misses you. So there's a lot of air here in various places. We got the Ace of Swords. That's probably enough by itself. Knight of Swords, yeah. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. Just... Follow your heart in whatever instance you need to. Um, like I said, some of y'all are dealing will be dealing with a third party situation, but there's no and this I think this was Taurus and Pisces. This person is not fucking around on you, but this other person that they're dealing with, it could be baby mama, baby daddy, could be their mama, could be their daddy. That that third party influence is strong on your partner. And so it may appear that they're doing something they shouldn't. Again, take that step back before you make any drastic decisions. That eight of cups up there. And think about what's going on. Time to talk money. Grown ass folks take care of their money. Tax season is upon us. You no, know, y'all like the man, but that don't happen till April. Yeah, but you need to start getting your paperwork together. Now Check your investments. Those of you that are invested, those I hear heavily invested. Those of you that are heavily invested in the stock market, pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention this week to whatever's going on in the market if you've got money in the market. All right, y'all. I love you. I hope y'all have a good week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.